pilgrim. Okay, my topic of discussion today is the art of the pilgrimage, I'll call it, right? Uh, interesting thing is um, I came across, I've always loved the word, first of all, the word pilgrim. Um, you know, I guess just first time I heard the word, it just resonated with me somehow. And, and in more recent times, the word has sort of come up again. And I thought, okay, man, there's clearly um, something to, to, to research, something to investigate as to why this word keeps popping up in my life, in my journey. And I do want to, first of all, mention that I'm really excited about the fact that I have discovered a few resources podcasts um some individuals that are touching on these themes as well and i thought okay man that's confirmation enough for me to go further into this and to share my perspective based on they made a huge impression on me of course so i thought based off that those impressions i need to somehow um yeah bring to light what i think and what i feel so to start with you know i've been super you know i guess inspired by the work of uh, john eldridge wild at heart as well as uh, what i discovered quite recently uh, morgan snyder's becoming good soil becoming a king right so he's got a series called becoming a king and that just man really it, it really completely did something deep down inside and i feel compelled after hearing that and you know after getting confirmation as well that some of the thoughts i've had and hearing someone else put it in their own words and share some of their stories that confirms a lot that i've been ruminating on you know but not really venturing out to share what that means for me and so i thought well i think i've i've gotten enough signs that you know, this is something that I, I need to speak on and I guess go further as well in, into what that means for myself as, you know, I'm a leader of my family. You know, I've got a young family as well. I'm a son. I've got a mom who's um, still strong, still strong, although she is going through some of her challenges um, health-wise due to, you know, work and the years that she's dedicated her life and the the time that she's put in as a nurse taking care of other people and so I find myself at this uh, point in my as it's stated in you know the the podcast I just mentioned uh, so I find the podcasts as well as obviously having read some of um, John Eldridge's material I actually read two books not that much <laughs> but those two books that I read I read Killing Lions to start with which was um collaboration between John Eldridge and his son Sam Eldridge where they um, speak about some of the challenges that a young men go through and how to best navigate those so you know that book made a huge impression on me when I read it first of all the title just powerful title right killing lions and that image is as shocking as much as it's uh, evocative you know so as it was very you know, blessed by my um, mother-in-law who bought me the book. I'm trying to remember for what occasion it was. You know, I'm thinking it was like one of the first. <sighs> Man, I'm, I'm. I need to. I definitely must know what sort of um, occasion it was that she got me the book. But I suspect it was um, one of our first anniversaries with my wife, and so she bought her something and then bought me the Killing Lions book when we started you know, kind of first year of our marriage, moving in together and, you know, living together officially. Um, <laughs> after we had been living together unofficially, but a hey, different story for a different day. Um, so she bought me that book and I feel that sparked something deep down inside of me, you know, to uh, come across that content. And then I read Wild at Heart, a few there was a few years afterwards you know so i think it must have been like two years ago now from now so 2020 2021 i believe yeah so read that um so those books 
that those resources came at a very critical time to me, as I mentioned, you know, at a time where, you know, I'm leading my family into these uh, various stages of our growth as we grow, um, facing the challenges of um, work, lack thereof at certain points, um, and just kind of, I think they gave me a vocab to be able to um, appreciate that all those seasons, you know, those uh, trials and, and not, you know, um, complain about them. You know, sometimes for sure you do complain, you know, but uh, they gave me the hope and the inspiration to just go, okay, man, you know, like as a man, these are certain stages that I have to go through for my development and certain stages that I have to respect and honor and give them the right um, attention. I think initially I kind of just sort of went uh, just through, you know, the, the bravado of, you know, youth sort of just went, what, whatever, man, I'm a man, I'm going to take care of this and take care of that. And I'll muscle my way through these sort of situations, which, you know, that, that takes you to a certain extent. It does make things happen, but then sooner or later you, you, you come, you know, to realize that, uh, you are mortal, my friend. So, um, a beautiful, you know, imagery evoked by those books. And I think in taking some of that stuff and going, okay, how does this fit in with my journey, with my pilgrimage, going back to that, that, that awe-inspiring word, you know, I um, love the fact that there's that sense of a sense of danger, you know, a sense of uncertainty, caution to the wind, like you're just flying into the unknown, you know, it's pretty much like wingsuit style and just kind of going for it, man. And uh, I like those images and I like the, the strength or the groundedness that comes from being fixated on those themes in your life. And I feel, that's why I feel compelled actually to um, uh, share with, Whoever's listening, whether you're a young dad out there, or whether you know you're, you've got a young family that you're leading, it's um, one of those things where I thought I can't let this go past me without saying my piece on it. <laughs> you know, I cannot. Um, in fact, you know, I'd, I'd encourage any dude, any not even just dudes, but like your your girlfriend, bring your girlfriend in, bring your wife in, and you know, bring some of the cool females in your life. In and, and show them some of this stuff to give them a better understanding of um, the stuff that we go through as men and the stuff that we need that spiritually, you know, that we need to ensure that we stay intact, we stay tenacious and that, you know, we um, honor like our masculinity and masculine growth um, without the toxicity that's, you know, out there. But yeah, kind of digging deep and, you know, being unafraid to um, be like, this is the stand I'm taking as a man. This is the path that God has given me. And so I need to, you know, make make the most of the talents, make the most of the time I have, make the most of the, um, sure, the gifts, you know, the gifts that um, I'm blessed with. And so I find myself at this point now, this um, new journey this new um, pilgrimage that i'm on and i'll attempt to do it justice and explain the best i possibly can what it means for me and what i what i really want to do with the information that uh, i was blessed to you know receive so one of the biggest things that i picked from uh, especially the becoming king podcast with morgan snyder was the fact that if we don't protect, I guess you know they, they they I like how they put it as like the masculine soul, yeah, the masculine soul. And sometimes it seems you know kind of, um, yeah, some people take it the wrong way, but I like the fact that they use those words because it shows that as men we're not just you know made out of steel and you know wood and dirt and you know all all those. Um, elements that you know you can associate with manhood but that you know we have a soul 
and that soul needs to be cultivated, needs to be taken care of, and it needs, um, yeah, you know, like a healing that they speak about, right? And as guys, like I mentioned before, you know, we've got a tendency to think I can muscle my way through these situations. I can, you know, and, you know, I can t get this job and get a second job and I can, you know, do all these things. At the end of the day, you burn out and then you really can't do the important task that's put in front of you that God wants to wants you to fulfill, you know, your, your mission on earth, you know, as a leader of your family, as a, you know, charity begins at home, as it were. So um, we want to go out there and do these like, huge things, but it's, you know, the, the moments of, uh, the moments of just reining things in, those uh, moments of, you know, I'm at home and what do I do to, help my family move forward, you know, given the challenges that you might be facing. So what do I really need to do? Who do I need to talk to uh, to get that um, wise counsel that I might need to get the right answers? And so ensuring that, you know, we succeed as a family. And it's not just success for one person, but it's, you know, the whole tribe um, has to win. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to, Yes, it may make a point or, you know, say I have my say in the importance of those uh, books, the importance of those um, podcasts, those conversations about, you know, championing the masculine spirit and how do we develop those those traits? You know, how how do you uh, be the, the, the woodsman, you know, the hunter? Like, how do you be the, the guy who has like a Trojan work ethic, but still um, balanced enough to be a playmate as well? to your 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 family your daughter your sons your friends and kind of just having that that great balance of that masculine strength but at the same time being um being light enough to you know have a sense of humor and to enjoy life as well like i know i take myself super seriously sometimes and i kind of miss those moments of hey man you know kind of loosen up loosen up don't don't be so don't be so, you know, just head down, grindstone mode and, you know, just so yeah, keeping that fine balance. And, um, yeah, being being that gymnast, you know, the strong, but yet you're able to show grace as well. So um, I kind of like those images and I do want to share a little bit on my decision to self-initiate. Right, so the the books talk about initiations that men have to go through, and so you know that's one thing that we're missing nowadays. Those um, great, whether it's you know taking your son into you know teach them how to fish, teach them how to hunt, uh, we were we're missing that in our culture lately, and it's slowly vanishing, it's disappearing, and you know that we gotta have a sense of emergency about rescuing those. Um, uh, rituals and you know campfire style you know sharing our, our war stories um you know sharing our comedic moments and i thought i don't, I don't want to miss that moment with my son as he's about to turn 13 i don't want to miss those moments with myself as i'm as i'm approaching my 40s 40 you know i'm 36 37 and i'm approaching 40 and there's um uh stage a transition that's happening and so i want to be attentive to that i want to be attentive to the transitions that uh, the beautiful women in my life my wife is going through my daughter my mom aunts so i think slowing things down for me to be able to go oh yeah all right these are the things that we need to be aware of to maintain our health maintain um you know, physical, mental, emotional well-being, financial well-being as well, is you can't do that when you're in a whirlwind of, you know, let's this, 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 that, and that is, you know, you kind of have to just go, I want to choose my battles. And so for me, what that looks like is choosing those moments of self-initiation. If I can't get it from, uh, the community that I'm in, then I'll design some 
uh, self-imposed uh, trials. The natural ones that come, come. But there's some stuff that I, I sort of want to put myself through. And I think the biggest one I want to share before I run out of time is the um, decision I made to take a step back from the entertainment industry. Um, I've put in a lot of years, you know, I've got sort of 20 years worth of work behind me um, since starting off uh, in high school. And so going to like drama school, training over there, um, you know, being lucky enough to be on some commercial projects and, yeah, you know, learning quite a lot from that industry and coming to the point where I think, all right, now is the time that I need to take a step back Who knows if it's permanent or forever, but I do want to take a step back. And it's, first of all, it's at this stage of my growth, I've realized that it's not really serving me as best as I can and so as, as, um, as I need. Um, so or, or what my, going back to, you know, the, the, the John Eldridge um, uh, image, the, the masculine growth or masculine soul is, it doesn't serve me at the moment. Um, so I need to take a step back and choose something that is more in line with uh, the stage that I'm in now. Could be temporarily for a certain time period, but I, I feel like I do need to take a step back as, you know, to be quite frank, a lot of, um, it's, you know, a lot of the work within the entertainment industry is is quite comfortable you know you can easily get comfortable um and so i don't feel like i want to be complacent in that and um yeah that's the decision i, I sort of want to make and to help even put a bigger magnifying glass on the stage that i'm in i feel i need to kind of just take a step back and focus um I will, you know, obviously share the direction I want to take. And um, I think the, the right thing for me to do at the moment is to focus on um, just being outdoors. You know, <laughs> focus on being outdoors. I'm not quite sure what that looks like, but I'm pretty sure I will know very soon what that looks like. But uh, as for me, at the moment, I, I feel like I need to just be outdoors. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't care if I have to go dig holes, learn how to use a excavator or roller, or, you know, learn how to, you know, be a, a hiking guide or whatever. Just just something that is not um, the, the comfortable space of the entertainment industry or the, um, yeah, the slowly decaying, you know, to be quite honest, I just feel like it's, and no disrespect to the, the men and the, the hard workers that, that are steadfast in their um, championing of, you know, the, the strength that we need to show as men in leading our community. There's many people like that within the arts and entertainment industry. Um, however, the spaces that I found myself in, I find that, um, those those um models are, are lacking and so i need to um just take some stock and figure out what's going on all right so i will carry on this conversation don't want to make it too long and thanks again for joining me thanks again for uh listening in and i'm excited that you know there's some people that i can share my thoughts share some of the interesting things that I discover on the way and we'll carry on. All right. Peace for now. Talk to you soon.